N then I I'm trying, I'll try to say something. Uh, uh, although, as you know, a prayer is something, at least for me, to the extent that I pray, if I pray, <laughs> secret. It's absolutely secret. Uh, there is, uh, of course, there are public prayers. There are people who, in communities, pray together. And the first thing I would tell you is that when I was young, my first rebellion against my own religious environment had to do with public prayer. Uh, I mean, common, prayers in common. So my way of praying, if I pray, is absolutely secret. Even if I'm in, in a public, even if, if in a synagogue I was praying with others, I knew that my own prayer would, would be silent and secret and interrupted, interrupting something in the community. So that's one more reason for not answering your, your, your question. Um, nevertheless, I, I'll say something. Um, a prayer, on the one hand, has to be the way I understand it a mixture of something absolutely singular and secret that is idiomatic, untranslatable, and at the same time, a ritual that is involving the body in coded gestures, in common language, in, in a, an a, a intelligible language. So there's this mixture of, between a, a secret and sacred idiom and some common ritual in which the body uh, 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 accepts to to uh, to uh, make coded gestures. Hmm? That's the way. If I pray, that I pray. That is something absolutely idiomatic and something which looks like what many people in many cultures, many religions do. Sometimes kneeling, kneeling, kneeling. Sometimes with a book sometimes without book or needle, sometimes walking, sometimes. I pray all the time, if I pray, all the time, even now. Um, but uh, we have a problem. I have to, to address each question for 10 minutes, okay, so, because there are a number of questions coming. Uh, I would, I would um, say, second, that my way of praying, if there is such a thing, if I pray, has more than one age in the same instant. There is something very childish. And when one, when one prays, one is always a child. Something childish, something archaic. Um, uh, gathering some um, memories of my childhood and the images, the imagery, the, the, the the icono icono iconography of God as a grandfather, a severe, just grandfather with a beard, and at the same time a mother who thinks I am innocent, that is ready to forgive me. Okay? So there, there, are, there are these naive couple, naive image of a, a couple of uh, a terribly just, but but uh, in merciless father, but just understanding father, and a mother who is trying to to trust my innocence. This is the layer of the, the childish layer of my prayers, the ones I I perform once a day, for instance before going to bed, or I pray, I pray a little time right now. Now there is also, mixed with this, uh, 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 on, on this layer, there's another layer, of course, which involves my culture, my philosophical, uh, very uh, 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 critical experience, uh, my, my experience of apophasis, my experience of, of 
a critic of religion going through Feuerbach to Nietzsche to all of these things, uh, the experience of a non-believer, someone who is constantly uh, uh, suspicious of the child, okay? and who resists, and who says, well, who, whom am I praying? Who is, whom am I uh, addressing? Um, who is God, and so on and so forth. And in this layer of sophistication, if, if I may call this this way, uh, I find a way of, let's say, uh, meditating about uh, who, the who, who is praying and the who, who is uh, 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 receiving the prayer, the, the who, who my address. And I know that this very apparently negative, it's not, it's not negative, it's just a way of thinking. I think, when I pray, I think, I try to think. And this thinking prayer is not simply negative. It's a way of asking all the questions that we are asking here in, the, in, this, in this conference. A lot of them, of course. I cannot summarize these questions in, a, in, a two, in two minutes now. But the, the, these questions are part, part of my experience of prayer. When I pray, I'm just thinking about negative theology, about uh, uh, the unnameable, uh, the possibility for me to be totally, totally uh, deceived by uh, uh, my belief and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a very skeptical, I don't like this word, but this can be interpreted as a very skeptical prayer. Very skeptical. And this skepticism is part of the prayer. Uh, uh, in, instead of skepticism, I would call the, this is the, the epoche, the suspension, the suspension of belief, uh, the suspension of, of certainty, not of belief, the suspension of certainty is part of the prayer. And then I consider that this suspension of the certainty, this suspension of knowledge, this an ability to answer your question, to whom? Hmm? Who do you expect to answer these prayers? Is part of what a prayer has to be in order to be authentic. If I knew, if I knew, if I were simply expecting an answer, that would be the end of a prayer. That would be an order, the way I order a, a pizza, okay? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not expecting. And I, I, my, 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 my assumption is that I must give up any expectation, any certainty as to the one, the one or more than one to whom I address this prayer if this is still a prayer.